Hi, my name is Sherry Hacker. I'd like to introduce you to my paintings that are featured here at Gallery at 48 Natoma in Folsom, California. It was important for me to show this painting in the exhibition called Breaking Out. It's my daughter in 1992 when she had the chicken pox. Her arms are up and she's breaking out. The flowers are oversized and the dots that are in the painting show the actual chicken pox everywhere so that the whole scene is exaggerated with the mood. Breaking Out relates to this painting, At the Beach. It has similar colors that are bright and a lot of patterning. It was painted after a family camp out. I was so completely full of joy from the experience and now having grandchildren that I wanted to capture the children's uninhibited gestures on a grand scale. This led to the painting, Another Day at the Beach. It was painted after the same outing. I use a lot of different materials on the rigid surface, and I have papers that I've collected that add to the story. Here, I've put in Dick, Jane, and Sally, who are playing. Up there, I have sheet music from the song, The Sandman. People often ask me if I play music. I have been in a band, and I was a singer. I do come from a musical family. I moved from a downtown Victorian apartment house to a single house with a huge backyard. My grandkids could now come over, spend the night, paint, run around, and we played games like this painting, Simon says. Their gestures were so inspiring that I painted them larger than life for their playfulness and accentuated it with the inventive shapes for the landscape. In this painting, Backyard Magic, the children are jumping in and out of a shipping crate that actually came from the Crocker Art Museum. It is these unexpected moments that I like to capture. For quite a while, I worked on solely abstract paintings. I considered all the shapes that I had put in the other landscapes, and I included those in the paintings. But then I began to think that I really wanted to have more content in my work and not just abstraction. So I decided to put the figures back in. I visited my grandkids. I had them sit in the pose for me and I drew them and sketched them. I had this idea for the universal dreamers. I started these paintings right before the COVID lockdown. And then I went into isolation. So during the next two years, I painted a series of five dreamers. I had very little contact with family. Painting their faces and looking at the photographs and while I worked, it helped me feel closer to the children, and it helped me to get through those hard times. In Dreamers and Trees, I thought about our connection to nature and how it feels when we're able to climb a tree, being up high in another world. In these paintings, I did use some of my photographs for reference. The boy is in a madrone tree. I actually have a picture of that. The girl has a lot of storybook elements in her painting. We have the white rabbit going down the path from Alice in Wonderland. And here is Alice. She's in the tree dreaming as well. In the boy, I have song lyrics. Looking over a four-leaf clover, and then the long, long trail. In the final dreamer painting called Two Dreamers, the boy is contemplating by the water with the paper boats going down the river and the girl is taking off flying. This painting shows a lot of their personalities. There are some more elements again that both connect them and talk about the painting itself. Sally is being cast off, but she's having fun flying 
It looks like water and it looks like sky, both. The girl has on a swim cap connecting her to the sailor suit on the boy, but she's flying. There are song lyrics next to her that are from, I'm gonna read it to you. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. This is a beautiful painting that captures my grandchildren, and I love it. After painting two dreamers, I decided to discover who may appear directly from my imagination, memory, and dreams without using any kind of visual reference. The cast of characters were born. An artist friend gave me a bag of vintage game pieces and that added to the personalities as the paintings developed. A couple characters remind me of family. Madam Butterfly wears my mother's metal curler with painted curlers under a hairnet in the same way she often took care of her hair before bed. The librarian came from a vision with a likeness to my daughter who is an avid reader. Some folks see a self-portrait in one. It's my intention for my paintings to bring joy to other people. I hope that you've had some joy looking at all of the paintings throughout this. And you can interpret my work any way that you would like. Perhaps this could give you a little joy.